And I didn't want to be too alarmist, so uh, I, kind of, I kind of went the other way with my reaction. Instead of doing what I really wanted to do, which was you know, run screaming in the kitchen and go, Fire! I kind of calmed right down and I went, Sarah, there's a fire in the other room. It's, uh, it's a small fire, but we should put it out nevertheless. <laughs> and, um, and I had to talk to these people and, and sound calm, sound not panicked, which I was. And I had to sound like I knew what was going on and I was in control and they were going to have a good time at 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning. <laughs> and, uh, and about half the streets downtown were blocked off with guys with rather large Uzis and, and, and yellow tape. Uh, and then I really ran out of things to say to these people. I had nothing more to say to these people. And I guess I reached my breaking point. And I, I saw this tree. And something possessed me to say, 